Twin sisters. I gotta hand it to you for taking them down. But don't gloat just yet. Might come a time you wish you'd let them end it. And made things easy. Hmm. More of you, huh? He's a lessee. Take him. Back off. You want to keep breathing? <laughs> Shut up and come quiet. <sighs> You, I'd worry about myself.
for the love of all that's good. Huh? Oh. Next, an hmm. update on the status of the purge. Just moments ago, the Sanctum announced the successful conclusion of the purge, along with the safe arrival of the cocoon migrants to their new homes on Pulse. <laughs> yes, that is correct. There's no denying the enormity of the strain the purge placed on us all. But given the tens of millions of lives at stake, there truly was no alternative. Primarch Disley stood by the move, stressing the necessity of the relocation. When asked about the possibility of future purges, the Primarch remained non-committal, stating only that he would seek counsel with the Falci Eden and weigh all <sighs> options before making a decision. Yeah, that's right. If it makes the Sanctum look bad, it never even happened. In all the centuries since the War of Transgression, Cocoon has been spared Pulse Aggression and prospered for it. It is essential that we maintain this peace. That is the Sanctum's focus. We will continue employing every resource available to combat these threats to the harmony of our society. Meaning, we'll be running for the rest of our lives. Hey. Mm-hmm. Um, who is this guy? <sighs> I mean, what do they teach kids these days? He's Gallant Disley, the Sanctum Primarch. Murderer in chief. According to our Insta Just poll, another nearly 90% of the Cocoon citizens agree with the Sanctum's handling of the purge. 70% of respondents said they would also support additional purges were the need to arise. <sighs> Let's purge everybody. That'll fix it. Oh, hey. Points for perseverance. A sanctum foul sea of close and personal. Cocoon's own light in the sky. Here we go again. Fly in. We'll lose him in there. 